Hi right, YouTube, Dfishman76 here. I'm going to transfer uh, beads from a 5 frame nuke to a, uh, a full size 10 frame box. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a uh, sprinkling rain. We just had a storm roll through. And uh, this ain't the best time in the world to be messing with bees, but uh, as busy as I am here lately, you got to do it when you can do it. So this might be a comical video of me getting stung today. So what you want to do is take the top off, look them over pretty good, take the bees, set them on the ground. Now what I got in this box is uh, I got one frame of drawed out comb and the rest are just foundation. Uh, what I normally do is I try to take two of the foundations out. That way we got plenty of room to work. And uh, I'll set these up here so we can kind of see. Uh, these bees here are actually out of a, a cutout that I did at a church that I videoed, but somehow I messed up and deleted part of the video, so I never posted it. So that's the reason why you haven't seen the video on that. There was just four frames in here and I added a frame of, I'm going trying to get in my coat. I added a, a frame the other day and that's as much as they drawed out on it so far. But I put it in the hive. When you split up your five frame nukes like this right here, you kind of want to try to keep the uh, the frames in the same order as they were before. She tried to sting me, but she didn't get me a little more smoke. Like I said, bad weather's a, uh, not a good time to be messing with your bees, but I got a guy that's got some fields he wants pollinated, and I got the Get my bees ready to do that. There's a frame. Matter of fact, the queen is on there. I'm gonna hold it still so y'all can look at it. And uh, leave in the comments if you see her. There's also uh, freshly laid eggs in there. That's one uh, sign you can tell that the queen has been on that frame. This is capped honey at the top. And there's also pollen in that little place where I just showed you. But like I said, the queen is uh, is on here. If you uh, pause it, if you want to try to find her, I'm going to point her out so you can, uh, so you'll know if that's her or not. So uh, five, four, three, two, one. Right there's your queen. That is the queen bee. Normally there's only one of those in a hive. But that is the queen. So I'm gonna put this frame right back in the order it was in. When I take it out of the box. Now normally if, if it's a real, real strong five frame nuke, I'll split them up a little bit and put some uh, drone, some uh, foundation in between the frames to get them to go ahead and start drawing that out. Now what this is, is uh, when I did the cutout at the church, I actually put their comb in here and put the rubber bands on it and uh, they draw the rest of it back out. These are some little five frame nukes that I built off of uh, bsource.com and uh, I didn't get them squared up exactly but uh, sometimes the frames can be a little bit harder to get out. All the white stuff up here at the top 
This right here is capped honey. This right here is worker brood. That's where all the, your female bees come from. And there's a little bit of pollen right there. Normally, the way it works is they'll have brood in the center, a uh, ring of pollen, and then the honey across the top. This is our new comb they've built. If you'll notice how the cells are, are bigger, that's drone cells. Drones are the male bees in the colony. Matter of fact, that's a drone right there. You can tell by the big eyes and a little bit bigger body. But his only purpose in life is to come in everybody's hive, eat the honey, uh, breed with the queen if he looks up and be able to do that. And after they breed, they actually die. That's a drone, that's a drone. There's quite a few drones in here. But uh, this is, matter of fact, I got little girls. Notice the difference between this and that. These are worker cells. That is drone brood. These will hatch out male bees. These will be the females. This right here is a plastic foundation. Uh, I got this stuff when I first started beekeeping. I'm not a big fan of it because the bees don't really draw it out as much as they do the other foundation. I'll show you what some of that looks like. But as you can tell, it's hard plastic. It's got a uh, wax coating on it. But uh, you can see where they're drawing it out. That's a good shot of uh, that's our pollen right here. And then it's going into nectar and then into the capped honey. Nectar is just uh, honey that's not been capped yet. They have to uh, fan it out and get it down to less than, I think it's 15% moisture before they'll cap it. Uh, if you process honey that's not capped, uh, it will ferment and go bad. Capped honey, uh, there's case studies or there's, they found honey in a, a an Egyptian tomb one time it was over 3,000 years old and the honey was still good so honey will crystallize but as long as it's uh was capped honey and the water percentage is down in it it will not go bad so here's some more more drones drones don't have stingers as you could tell they're pretty much defenseless if you ever want to learn how to pick up bees drones is a good one to try it on so Show you this right quick. This is the regular foundation. All this is is uh, it's actually uh, wax that is rolled out and it's got the uh, honeycomb actually the imprint on it. So it helps the bees draw it out. The reason why we use foundation is uh, it speeds up the process of them drawing stuff out a little bit quicker and it uh, makes the, uh, the comb itself a little more rigid because if you're not careful with freshly uh, made comb it will break and fall all to pieces so that's one of the reasons we use it I got a few frames that I go uh, uh, foundation list in and uh, you have to be really careful with those because they will fall apart So we still got bees in the box. So what I'll do is I'll uh, flip this over. Knock it on the top. Get the bees out. Or most of them. Just like that. Got stung on the ankle. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Now when I put these frames in the box uh, this was the first one I pulled out yeah this was the first one second third fourth and fifth and uh, 
that's how I put them back into the box. That way when the bees start coming back in, they will easier, it's easier for them to orient and figure out what's going on. But uh, I put the, this box exactly where the other box was at. And as you can see, the bees are already figuring out how to get into the box. So uh, that's how I do my five frame nukes into a 10, tank, 10 frame box. Uh, hope y'all learned something. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, just leave your comments in the bottom. And I uh, hope everybody is doing good.